All right, so we got new GTA Online, Lindendorf Cemetery Survival. Let's get right to the video, man. It's been a long time since we've seen Lindendorf. Uh-oh. Okay. Man, it is about time. First of all, bro, shout out to, to uh, you know, to Rockstar Games. Shout out to Grand Theft Auto for, for making GTA Online, like, such a big thing. And to be honest with you, bro, like, GTA, I think GTA 5 Online has, or just GTA Online, I think GTA Online has bring in so much money. I said bring. Has um has delivered so much money to the game. It's been absolutely ridiculous. Obviously, like a lot of people back then, whenever you know GTA 5 first came out, a lot of people were just buying the game specifically for the story mode. I bought the game for the story mode. Um, you know, because if I'm being honest with you, uh, back then, you know, we didn't really. I mean, we had internet, but like you know, the internet was very finicky. So like we had internet one month, and we didn't have internet to like the next like three months, whatever. I mean, listen, that that was the struggle. You know, it is what it is. You know, I, and I lived through it. So. Um, um, so, bro, I love, like, I, I legit love, like, GTA 5 specifically for the story mode. I really didn't care about the online like that. Um, I have played GTA 5 online before. Um, it's just I really cared about, you know, the actual story mode. And and I think that's, like, a lot of people. As soon as, like, you know, oh, bro, is that a fly, bro? Bro, I need, like, some type of, I think that's, like, a fruit fire or something, bro. There's, like, no fruit in here, though. But, um, but bro, like, a lot of people bought the game specifically for the story mode, not knowing that the online is going to, like, you know, do anything or whatever. Turns out the online was the biggest thing for Grand Theft Auto, uh, for Rockstar Games. And, you know, I heard that they, that they made, like, hundreds of millions of dollars. They might have even made, like, a billion dollars uh, off of... On Bro, get away. Get away from the camera. Um, they, might, they might have made, like, <laughs> they might have made, like, one billion dollars just off the online uh, alone. Um, I do, I do know that obviously Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto Five made like what, like two billion dollars in like the first like three days. It was crazy, just off the game itself. But the online is the biggest uh, part of the game, uh, revenue wise and like and gameplay wise. You know, because there's obviously there's there's different DLCs and different updates coming to the game like every single month for the past like ten <laughs> for the past like ten years. So if I'm being honest with you, bro, shout out to Rockstar for keeping this thing alive. Um, speaking of like Lindendorf, bro, we haven't seen Lindendorf literally since, um, since Trevor found out that Michael, you know, set Brad up and stuff like that, you know, and they went to the uh, cemetery and stuff like that. I actually looked it up. I remember looking up like, cause obviously if you, if you guys don't know, Los Santos is based off of like Los Angeles. So if you look up like what city is Lindendorf based off of, at first I, I was thinking, okay, maybe it's like Canada or whatever turns out i think they said that it's like north dakota or it's like one of the uh states uh it's like one of like one of the northern states um like northwest it's like um like north dakota or, or something like that or like minnesota it's like one of those but um I, at first i thought it was canada at first um and that was like 10 years ago i thought it was canada it turns out we actually have something um come, like going off in linda north um i actually wish gta 5 would have like expanded the map a little bit um uh, maybe we, you know we could have took it i said took in a plane but my vocabulary is absolutely trash it's the first video i'm sorry but maybe we could have taken a plane from los santos to uh to Lindendorf. you know that would have been crazy if we can actually do that um and, and maybe you know we would have just got uh went to the airport it would have been like a big loading screen, and then we would have just got dropped off in Lindendorf. That would have been absolutely amazing. But, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully, we can actually do that in uh, Grand Theft Auto 6. Um, you know, talking about, bro, oh, my goodness. When Grand Theft Auto 6, I've had, bro, I got so much, like, upcoming information about that game. It's not exclusive information. It's information that everybody knows. But I got to, like, make, like, a separate video about it. But other than that, man, uh, we finally got a DLC at Lindendorf. It's been, like... It's legit been like what 10, 11, 12 years since we even seen this place since the story mode. So, comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? It's like some, uh, it's like a, um, it's kind of like Call of Duty, uh, like zombies, basically. That's that's basically what it is. But, uh, uh comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? I'm just glad to see the cemetery again because, <laughs> because, uh, we haven't seen the cemetery in like 10 years. So, uh, yeah, comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? Make sure you like, big subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and peace.